now let's talk about the Softweak Manager. So the idea for this tool, it's coming from the article I read uh, here on buyingpost.com. And the article is called Help Animators Fix Intersection with a Sub Mode Deformer. So if you want to know a little more how it works, this tool behind the curtains, please uh, go to this article and read it. And I have to give credits to the creator. It's uh, Basil. He's the, the person behind this uh, idea. I just took his idea and uh, create a tool and move. Uh, maybe I'll step forward with some extra um, like features. So let's let's see how you, how it works so f i have here this uh, sample character and basically i want to create some uh some deformers some tweaks to to deform the character so the first thing i have to do here on the on the menu by the way the tool is accessible by uh, going to animator animation menu and soft tweaks it's here so i'm going to create one that's called test and uh, i can set a, a control group that can be used later for keyframing like if you're using shifter you can add it to the controllers group and then uh, we have um, the option for parent in this case I'm just gonna create a simple uh, locator so I'm gonna place the locator around here that probably is where the head will be in the regular rig and I'm just gonna scale this so we can see it it's there okay so I'm just set the parent there and now I can create the, the new tweak. Uh, of course, I need to select the object first. So applies the new tweak to the object. And we don't see anything because inside this, this model, by the way, it's too small. I'm just going to delete it. Delete here, yes. And I'm just going to create it with uh, two. So now it's a little bigger. And um, yeah, probably, yeah, sorry, I forgot to select the, the mesh just gonna create it again okay now it's good to go oh 21 great that's huge just one two okay select this and now new tweak okay finally this is what I want so uh, as you can see we have the list here and uh, this list help us to select the, the tweaks if we don't see it, like in this case, select the base control, it's there. And now we can we can move it. And if we select the the other, uh, I mean the control, we have the base control and the, the control itself, it should deform a geometry, maybe if I pull up my follow-up here in the channel box, you can see now it's affecting the nose and if I move the parent it's creating this kind of sliding effect very nice maybe for creating some animation on cloth or things like that that looks more dynamic and uh, let's create another one I'm just gonna create one for the chin and again same process select the, the name select the, the mesh and the same configuration so I created this there just gonna select the base control, place it on the chin, then select the channel control. It's not affecting. I'm just gonna pump the fall off. And yeah. So that's it, it's working. So nice things that we can do with the with this tool. We can add um, new objects to the to the soft mode. So to add it, we just need to select the objects that we want to add and select here the soft mode that we, we want to add it and add objects to select a tweak so right now this is also affecting to the eyes if we want to remove it just same process remove and it's out so we can see the gap here between the eyelid and the and the eye okay i'm just gonna add it again that's one thing we can have access quickly to the selection so if we have this for instance the chin and we select the affected objects we can select the control we can select the base control we can make a quick search here so if we have many many um, sub modes probably it's it's harder to select from here so just with the quick search we can quickly filter out what we need and um, 
Most interesting probably it's that the ability to export and import the configuration. So this it's uh, meant to be an animation tool and animators works on shots. So probably you want to repeat or your configuration for many shots. So to do that, you just need to come to the file menu here and you can export selected or export all. In this case, I'm gonna export everything. I'm going to the desktop. I'm gonna save here in my test. And now we can just go in here, select the two elements that we want to delete and delete tweaks. I'm sure, yes, I'm sure, so it's out. And now let's say this is another shot. So we can go here, import, desktop, and open again and all configuration with the connections and the uh, positions are stored. Um, this is not storing animation. That's um, one thing that you should store by your own way, like using maybe Studio Library or other uh, tools. But um, yeah, this is gonna store your basic positions or the, the, the moment that you store it, the, the position and the uh, connections with the geometries and the parent that in this case it's a locator, but maybe it's uh, your rig. So that's all for this tool. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks to Basil for the idea. And I hope you like it. Bye bye.